What is happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, in this step, I'm going to show you how to physically install a hard drive because in a previous step, we talked about best practices and also what makes a good hard drive and where to buy one. So, in this step, I'll show you how to physically install one and let's check it out. Now, there's a few different styles of hard drives out there, and the hard drive we have right here is a SATA hard drive with your standard magnetic disk versus solid state, which is kind of new. Now, to remove this hard drive here, we have to simply remove the screw on the side, and we'll also have to take a look to see if there's a screw on the other side. And I know what you guys are saying, uh, really, do we have to remove that screw because it's kind of a pain to get to that spot? Well, it is a pain, and still got to remove it, so let's check it out. So we'll grab our non-magnetic screwdriver, and careful not to touch any of the other components while you're doing this. So there we go. And you notice this screw, more than likely, is going to be smaller than the other screws, like for instance, the screws we removed from the back of the computer. Now we see if it's, hey, look at that. Take a look. Hard drive only had one screw in it, which is not really a good idea. Now if, for instance, besides this hard drive, if your hard drive, if you had to remove it from the other side, I'll show you how to take the front panel off. More times than not, the front panels will have some type of a clip or you can either unclip the bottom or shift up, uh, something of that nature. With this, this case actually has a few clips, has four clips on each corner, so we can just squeeze those. There we go, because I already previously removed the other clips, but. Now, re when removing the front of any of your computers, you'll, just, you'll definitely want to make sure none of these cables get disconnected, because they're connected to the motherboard, and this is how it shows your hard drive running and also a uh, power button. And a lot of times, too, this is where your filter will be for your case. A lot of times, right here is where the filter will be. So if you, if you have, for instance, if that's where your filter is at, you'll just want to give it a good can of air. Now we'd be able to access the other side to our hard drive. Now, for installing a hard drive, easiest method, just grab the hard drive by the sides. And then, for instance, you want the, where you plug in your cable, you want that facing out. So if I was to install here, face out here, install over here, face out there. And <clears throat> this, is what's getting, this is the part that gets kind of tricky because a lot of times you might have to remove components to install your hard drive. Like, for instance, if I was to install my hard drive right here, sometimes, like uh, I think in this instance, I would actually have to remove both chips of RAM to fit my hard drive in this bay. Now, that's probably why the, the hard drive was installed in this bay right here, but also there's cases where you might have a really monster fan on your computer, and you'll have to remove the fan to get your hard drive in there. So to install the hard drive, simply line it up, because these will all have little, little resting trays in here. Line it up, drop this guy in. So it's seated nice. And then if you take a look on the side, you should have, yep, one spot ready for a screw hole. Get that started. Nice and snug. Uh, and then we'll add our second screw, which we don't have. That's why I like to hang on to a lot of miscellaneous parts because if you lose a part and you got a miscellaneous part, it's good to go. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, do I really need to put in all the screws on there? Well, you do, because uh, more likely than not, even if, most especially, if this is not your computer, <laughs> because you don't know where that computer is going to go. Um, could be a, a person who likes to go to LAN parties where it takes your person where they take their computer to multiple places. And whenever you're moving around your computer, things will shift, and like I said, this is a spinning disc, so you don't really want to move that around too much, and you don't want it to be off kilter a little bit. So, put all the mounting screws in your hard drive. Now, once the hard drive's in, you'll just want to connect two things. You want to connect your power and your information data cable. So, in this case, we have a SATA hard drive, so we'll connect the little guy right here to SATA 1, because it's our only hard drive. Boom, there we go, that's pretty simple. And then we'll connect the power. Wherever our power is at. And then you wanna take the SATA power cable 
and you want uh, that'll be noted by um, kind of an L design here, kind of flat, and it'll fit perfectly right there. So you want to connect that guy. Once that's connected, you're set. I mean, um, once your computer turns on, it'll recognize a new hard drive. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that'll be in the description of this video. And remember, guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.